Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2024.3 on VMA workstation. Go to Kali official website that is Kali.org. Hit enter, click on get Kali or download. Both are same, so click on download. See here we have the two types of downloads, installer images and virtual machines. Click on installer images that is ISO, then if you want to see the older versions, you can click on our previous Kali Linux religious and select the 64 bit then click on this download button click on it see download has been started go to downloads see here it's a size is 4 gigabytes but i have already downloaded kali linux iso file so i'm canceling this one in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open VMA workstation. If you want to install VMA workstation on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Okay. Search for VMA. See here, I have two versions. VMA workstation and VMA workstation player. But the installation process is same on VMA workstation pro and player. Okay. But only the difference is VMA workstation pro is paid one and VMA workstation player is free to use for non-commercial purpose. Okay. Open any one of them. Click on create a new virtual machine. Then here select the installer disk image file, then click on browse, then select the Kali Linux, then I 2024.3 ISO, click on open, then click on next, then select Linux and select Ubuntu or Debian, anything is fine, select Ubuntu 64 bit, then click on next, then provide name, Kali 24 vm copy the parts this is the virtual machine name not the host name click on browse uh, select the path where you have inner space new folder give the name click on ok this is the virtual machine name and this will be the folder name which stores the virtual machine files and folders then click on next then here we have to provide the artist i am giving 50 gigabytes it is up to you then click on next see here this is the summary of the virtual machine hardware information if you want to edit you have to click on customize hardware otherwise click on finish see if you want to still if you want to edit settings right click. select this machine from the left menu and click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select the settings or select it and click and click on vm then select settings all three options are same okay once you are okay with this all set all these settings then click on power on this virtual machine to start the installation of kali linux 2024.3 on vmware click on it use up and down arrows from your keyboard and select graphical install and hit enter select the language and click on continue select your location i'm okay with I'm going with United States, then click on continue, select keyboard language, I'm going with American English, then click on continue. Now here we have to provide the name for the Kali Linux host. I'm giving Kali 24.3, then click on continue. If you have an existing domain name, you have to provide domain name here. Otherwise, keep it as blank and click on continue. Now, we have to set up new user. So, I am going to provide new user name as after schools. This will be the user name. Before one was full name, click on continue. Then provide the password for this user. Then click on continue. Set the clock. I am okay. I am going with Eastern. Click on continue. Then partition disk, I am going with guided entire disk, then click on continue, continue, select all files in one partition, see if you are ok with this one, you have to select finish partitioning, write changes to disk and continue, if you want to write changes to disk permanently, you have to select yes and click on continue.
software selection by default it has selected desktop except ce collection top 10 most popular tools and default i'm going with kde plasma also then click on continue then display manager i'm going with light dm that is dm is display manager selected and continue Now install the grub bootloader to your primary drive. Then select S and click on continue. Select the device. Continue. See, we have successfully installed. See, installation is complete. So it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation okay so right click on this virtual machine settings then cd dvd then uncheck this one then click on ok then click on continue to reboot Now provide username after schools and provide the password. Click on this full screen mode. See, this is the Kali Linux 20, 24.3. Now open terminal. First increase the font, file, preferences. Then select the change font, use of arrows, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. Now verify version of Kali Linux, more slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed Kali Linux and its version is 2024.3. Okay, if you want to verify the IP of this machine, give IF conf. See, this is the IP of this machine, okay. So, if you click on this Kali logo, see we have different applications like information gathering, web vulnerability analysis, web application analysis and many more, okay. So, the first step after connecting to Kali is you have to run the update, package updation by using the command sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Okay, it is taking time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Kali 2024.3 on VMA Workstation. For more Kali or Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.